Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Today, I'm in Snowflake, Arizona. What am I doing here? Headed north. Been in Sholo long enough. Headed, uh, headed out of town and I run across the old flea market and uh, finally found a place for us to park. I'm going to get out and look around. Y'all come with me. We've got the babies back in the wolf den. I got in some packages and whatnot. I got some cardboard laying on the bed back there. But looky, looky, looky right here what I pulled up next to. 40. I'm afraid to guess. Ford pick em up truck. Got quite a parking lot going on here. But uh, I need some groceries. Maybe I can find some fresh vegetables here. I mean, I am out. <laughs> I think I got enough to make a sandwich. Got some Brussels sprouts down there. sandwich meat oh yeah I know what I wanted to show you my Snoopy that I found in Cottonwood out on the BLM land finally got a hold of him velcroed his feet <laughs> added him to my collection <laughs> isn't that fun if when I was when I was at Luna Lake Campground, I found this. Somebody had stuck it on top of the picnic table. Come on, focus, baby. Look at that odd shape underneath. I'm going to take a toothbrush to it. Clean it up. Just a little thing I found. Of course, focus. Can't display it like that. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. That little keepsake I got. Focus. Now, how about that? There we go. My fingernails could be cleaner. Alright, let's get out here and look around. I need some groceries. Y'all be good. there got the exhaust coming out in front of the wheel won't lose that gas cap I hope those church bells cover up that music that's being played How y'all doing? I think that's a pretty good. I don't know what that's for. St. Lawrence Flea Market. Pit bulls, little long hair chihuahua. See that guy's shirt. I like that. Can I take a picture of your shirt? <laughs> I like it. Walmart. I hear you. What's wrong with people disagreeing with each other? Why do people have to get so offended nowadays, right? Jewelry. Oh, 
Pomeranian sitting in there. Might be a cattle dog, just a puppy. Can't tell. Is that a Pomeranian or a cattle dog? Possum. A possum? Yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> what kind of dog do you have? Seriously. Me? Yeah. Black Lab. That's not mine. That's Steve's. It's a Pomeranian, party color Pomeranian. I've never seen a party color Don't Pomeranian. Don't get too close, she'll bite you. All right, I won't. She hey, love. Like hey, love. It's yes, pretty. Yes. For mom's holding it, don't even get near her. Well, nothing wrong with that. No, I got a black one. Belt buckles. Ammo holders. Trees. That's your baby? Yeah. A beagle. Yeah. Can I take a picture of her? Sure. Is it a boy or a girl? It's a little boy. Hey, buddy. I can't pet you. I got three in the truck. Sure would be jealous. What's his name? His name is Huckleberry. Actually, his registered name is I'm your Huckleberry. <laughs> huh. All right. You have a good day. You too. All kind of things. I sure I'm enjoying the church bells today. I wonder how long it's going to be before people find that offensive. People are going to want the church bells cut off. I think that'll be a sure sign things aren't going to go in our way. I like it. <clears throat> That's fun. Yeah. <laughs> Heavy duty. I see lots of tools and jewelry, but I don't see any vegetables. All right, Eric. Found this. This is for you. Oh, a picker. John the picker. Yeah, Bubba. Say what now? Right. Isn't that a pretty little dog? Can I take a picture of your little dog? What's his name? Does she have a name? Uh, is, it, is it a boy or girl? Yeah. How old is she? She's not a year old, is she? She's young. Yeah. She's about a year. <laughs> All right, thank you. Uh -huh. We got kittens and bunny rabbits. Can I take a picture? Absolutely. Kittens and bunny rabbits? And babies. <laughs> yep, she's unpacking stuff. <laughs> How old are your kittens? Um, some of them are like six to seven weeks, and yeah. the other ones are like seven to eight weeks. I'm not sure. They were feral, <laughs> and so <laughs> I had to take them away from their mom. So I've had them about three weeks. Yeah. And so they're. Just trying to find them homes, huh? Yeah, because my mother-in-law, she's got feral cats at her house. And I'm like, you got to get those ones fixed because she feeds them. you got to get them fixed so they don't keep old bites, So. Yep. But they eat they eat good kitty food, and they eat, um, and they go in the litter box really well. So, right. oh, see that one's using the litter box as we speak. Sorry, rabbits. Yep. That's, <laughs> that's, that's going to taste a little different. <laughs> Mom's. Well, that's our Australian shepherd. That's what Nico is. Can I hold one? Absolutely. You want to hold this one? She's she's ready to be held. <laughs> I just pet her since you got her so good. How pretty is that? <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. You bet. Got a little dog right here. Looks like Moo Moo, a bigger Moo Moo. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. The Border Collie? Yeah. Border Collie, Queensland Healy. Oh. Her name is Crystal. Oh. 
Is she for sale or you just got her with you? That's his baby. Hey, baby. Hey, love. I take mine wherever I go to. Mine are in the RV. Yeah, she, she does perfect. I bring her out to these events, put her in the cage. She just, you know, she, she just, probably enjoys all the attention. The kids love her, you know. She just wants to be with us. You know? What's her name? Crystal. Crystal. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Hey, sweetie. Border Collies are so smart, but they got so much energy. She's way too intelligent. She's going to probably take me to school. Tennis balls and frisbees are her best friend? Everything. Uh, she loves balls. <laughs> cool. Hey, love. Hey, love. Thank you. Yeah, where was this guy a few weeks ago? Doggy steps. $5. I wonder if they still go beside the bed pretty good though, huh? In the RV? You think it would help them? Maybe I should get it anyway. He pulled the next guy. Hmm. I think I'll pass. Because they, they got a way to get up pretty good. Thank you, mister. Anybody need any tomato plants? Jalapenos, better boys, beef steak tomatoes. Hello, Johnny Gonzalez. Johnny Gonzalez. He was at the RTR. I just met this fella here, and uh, he's sitting here with his friend. They have a, a table here, and they sell colloidal silver, and they have an anti-rat pro spray. That you put on your wiring insulation on your, and everything insulation and everything under the hood to keep the rats he manufactures it this is 20 dollars a bottle for one quart he said i better wear a mask did this last a year for treatment oh yeah easy yeah you can spray it on as long as you're not pressure washing under the hood yeah i'd, pre I'd probably treat once a year once a year uh, because you're going to get you know some loss because of the stuff that sprays up under, under the hood in rainy days and whatever. sure sure and but, this has the same stuff in it that is uh the like the self-defense pepper spray thank you That's... the pepper sprayers are around 2000 scoville this is 8500 so it's four and a half times stronger, but it's designed to dry on stuff. It doesn't have an odor. Okay. And uh, it, it's, you know, you spray it on the insulation, the wiring, anything under the hood that a rat might eat or make a nest out of. If, and, somebody, if somebody wants to buy this from you, can you ship it? Yes, I actually have a website. What's your website? Antiratpro.com. All right, well, I'll just, I'll put that on my video and- uh, Thank you. I'll give it a, I'll give it a try and maybe we can sell, right. sell some for you. Okay, it has, you know, it absolutely works. Um, if you get it on your hands or whatever, make sure you wash them thoroughly. Okay. It, uh, you'll be sorry, you'll be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> well. But, uh, yeah, it, it works very well. It has an emulsion in the bottom, specifically because you're spraying it on stuff in an automobile. Okay. And everything under the hood's a little bit oily, just naturally. Sure. And then, of course, you're spraying on plastics and stuff, right? So that is to help it stick better to the... Okay. The stuff. It has a special valve in it that's up next to the head, so you can spray it upside down. It'll also spray 20 feet in a straight stream, so you can really reach stuff. All right. Thank you, sir. You're did, welcome. Did you see my video where I got run off with the rats? Uh, no, I didn't. Over uh, in Yuma. Johnny did. Over in Yuma. Yeah, I heard heard about that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, it's good to know I got friends wherever I go. Yes, you do. How Thank about you. that? I was walking by and they said, Camper Van Kevin. This guy, he had sent me an email and I had forgot about it. This will be good. Keep my wire safe on Miss Gypsy. Good deal. Don't want to spill this stuff. Four times more powerful than your regular pepper spray. I'm having the best time today, meeting people that know me. But she's younger. Yeah, they'll, they'll like they'll little like ducks. Big ducks. Yeah. 
Uh, it just, there's a little wire on oh, it right there. It's whichever one you like, or I'll crawl under there and reach it. This lady's bought some of them. Okay, what type of duck are they? They're Cayugas. Oh, they're Cayugas? That's yeah. the kind I wanted. There's, uh, that's mom and dad underneath them, right oh, there. So that's that is what... exactly the kind of duck I wanted, because he's got an Akoda. Can I take a picture? I... Yeah. Maybe. Hey, baby. You got it, right? Because yep, I don't. Got it. <laughs> Tell me what kind of duck this was again. Cayuga? Cayuga. They turn their iridescent green. Yeah, that's that's dad right there. Oh, that just so happens to be my she favorite. Gets that bluey, iridescent yeah, blue that's color. So cool. I can see. Awesome. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Cool. Thanks for letting me take a picture. Oh, no problem. Can I get a close up? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Can you tell the males from the females at this age? No. Didn't think so. If somebody can, they're You know they're calling you daddy. Daddy, daddy! <laughs> uh, the one that is just left in the box. With... <laughs> cool. Well, I sure hope everything was in focus. I think he's got something to say. You hear about Grumpy Cat? Grumpy Cat died seven years. Some people have a lot to say. <laughs> that old truck's gone. Did y'all have fun today? I had fun today. Here are my babies. Baby Maymay's got a mouth. I'll tell you what, I'm scared to carry this inside my RV. I'm gonna put it down below with my storage. Find a permanent place for it. I got a feeling if this stuff spills, I got a bad problem. Okay, to knock the lid off the trash can. Man, you did that. That's right. When I emptied the trash out at the last campground, didn't I? You're out of trash bags. You didn't you blame it on me? Well, Tucker, most, most things that go wrong are usually your fault. I know. Good boy. Good baby May Mays. That took long enough. I barked at everything, Daddy, just like I was supposed to. Well, you're not supposed to bark at everything, baby, May May. I did. Well, thank you. Thank you for keeping the Miss Gypsy safe while you're in the wolf den. Okay. Didn't find any groceries. Out of all of that, I found tomato plants. And I found some freeze-dried food in five-gallon buckets. But didn't find any groceries. Didn't find any fresh fruits and vegetables. So I'm gonna head to, I'm gonna have to go into the grocery store as I'm heading north. But every video's gotta end somewhere and this little video is gonna end right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching my, <laughs> watching my videos. You guys take care. Bye-bye. What does that mean? What does that mean?